Hi, my name is Banana Monkey, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a chest. What you will need is yellow stained clay, black stained clay, and a block of quartz. I just plug in my controller here. You're going to take your black stained clay and go over 20 blocks. Don't forget to count the corners and you just want to make a cube that's on each side 20 blocks. Halfway done. But sometimes what I like to do is stop in the middle of one. If I miscount it and stand deleting it, or try to count the same color block, I'll just go to the other and then add them up. So you should, once you have your 20 blocks of black stained clay on each side like this, you want to go up by 20 blocks. Don't forget to count this block right here and on every side. So that you should make a cube that's not filled in. There we go and do it on every side. Might have overwind. Yep, overwind. There we go. So you wanna go do the same thing two more times and then connect them all. Go over here. Along the sticks there. So build this side up tw by 20 blocks again. Twenty blocks, and then you just want to connect it all. So you should have something, once you got it all finished, something that looks like this. You want to take your yellow stained clay and go down three, like this. Oops. Let's try that again. One, two, three. And then you want to put that there. And if you don't like that, go ahead and go down four and then place your block and then go across. I'm going to be doing it. Go down four with your yellow stain clay and then go across and then keep that there. And then you just want to go across just like this on all four sides for that little upper section for the chest. Then what you want to do is, after you get this, you want to fill it all in on the sides. So just on the sides here, fill it in, just like that. This might take a little bit, but it shouldn't take too long. So then, after you get this done, You kind of are almost done. We just gotta take our quartz and add that little nozzle on there. I'll show you once I get done with just this side on the upper and I can show you where to put it at. 
So it doesn't matter what side you put it on because it's all going to be even. So then you just want to take it, find about the middle of 20, go three blocks. You should count over by 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you should find 10, 9, 10, and 11 of it. And you just want to go down from about the, the second line on the upper one that, that's closest to the bottom, the second line here. And you want to go three, and then you want to go three, three, and three till it's one overhang here. And then once you get this all covered in, you should be done with your chest. I just covered all, all of this in, and I'll show you what it looks like when you're done. The quickest way to kind of fill it in is to go up and then down like this instead of going across the rows. It's a, just a little bit quicker to do it. It doesn't matter if you color it up from the inside or the outside. And you can always put doors on any side if you want to live inside it. So then you can I'll just show you that for what the front will look like from when it's done to kind of so then you kind of have an idea. Just a couple more rows. And then once you get down to five rows, you kind of can just go like this because it's just a little bit quicker because then you'll be covering up all the rows at the same time. And now that we got that front done, when you're good, it should look like, the front should look like this. And if it's uneven, like how this is, delete where the quartz blocks are, except for the top three there, and recount. It's a little bit easier to count yellow than black. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So then maybe you want to go two instead of three. That looks a little bit better. I'm going to try scooting it over one like this. You can always make this on this on a side. It doesn't matter. Just make it so that it's either three. And if it's three, go down one more like this to make it look good. But if it's two, just make it so it stays on the black line there. So this is what this, and you probably don't want to do four onto this. That just looks a little too weird. And I'll just delete. Yeah, I'm going to go with two. I really like the look of two better on this. There you go. That's what it should look like when it's done. Off camera, I'll cover this all in. So yeah, it's going to take a little bit for me to cover all that in. I'll just show you what the front looks like so that way you don't have to go through all of that paint. Just watching me place a bunch of yellow, yellow stained clay. So yeah, and you don't have to use the yellow stained clay or the black stain clay what you can do is is if you don't have the stained clay in your minecraft you can always go into wool and use yellow white and black wool that's all another way and where the yellow stained clay would be here just make it so that way it's yellow wool where the black stained clay is make it so it's black wool and where the white where the quartz is just make it you can use quartz, but with, but you might want to stick with the wool type. I would recommend using clay to because of 
the so that way it's not flammable and if this is on a server that you're building it for like your base or something you definitely and then on the inside after this definitely do a couple layers of obsidian if you're making a base and make it so that way in the top of it where the very middle would be on in the top make it so that way you can ender pearl up to the top and you can just drop down into water yeah or if you if you're building this on a computer you could just use T TPs but on the PS4 like what I built this on it's kind um, you can't TP which means teleport so yeah I'll see you next time on Banana Monkey. See you later. Bye.